Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel. And in today's video, I will share some tips on how to organize your Gmail folders on a browser or on an iOS device. So if you are anything like me, you spend a bunch of time during your day going through emails. I try to get to e inbox zero once per day, so this means that I'm making a lot of decisions. I make a decision for every single email that comes in. Delete, file, or act on. I have lots of videos about managing email if you are interested in this topic, but this video specifically covers those emails that you have decided to save or to file. So I've talked to a bunch of people who are fine to either delete emails or act on them, but they really don't save any emails at all. There are a bunch of reasons for this reluctance, but let's start by explaining how to add folders. This is pretty easy on both a browser or an iOS device, but let's just walk through it really quickly. On a browser, hit the more arrow below all of the existing folders, scroll down, and select create new label. Gmail calls folders labels. So you can see that you can create a label or make a sub-label. So I am going to create a label called browser label. Then I will create a sub-label that nests underneath that first one. So on a browser, you can collapse these sub-labels. On an iPhone, if you go into mailboxes and you hit edit, you are gonna get an option to add a new mailbox. So I have four different email accounts on my phone, so this looks a little bit complicated, but on yours it might be a lot simpler. Choose where you want it to live. In this case, I'm gonna put it in my marble jar account and done. Keep it simple. Okay, when it comes to thinking about what folders to have, I would always err on the side of simplicity. Remember, the more decisions that you have to make, the less you're going to want to keep up with your filing system. So Gmail has pretty good search capabilities now. If this is a personal account, you may be able to get by with literally just one folder. Call it saved emails. Then anytime you wanna save the, an email, you just dump it into this folder, which you can then search easily by keyword. So if this is a work email um, account, you may want a little more complexity, but check yourself before going a little too nuts. So for example, for my grad school program, I have one folder. I do not have a folder for each class or a folder for each semester. I just keep all the emails pertaining to grad school in one place, which are sorted chronologically, and then I can search it by keyword. Get rid of extra folders. So we've talked about how to add folders, now let's talk about deleting them. From your phone, you can delete the folders that you have created. So I'll delete this one that I just made, hit edit, select the folder, and delete mailbox. So you may find, however, that there are some folders that cannot be deleted in this way. You will get an error that it could not be deleted on the server. So that is because it is a Gmail created folder. So here's how you can control what Gmail created folders appear on your list. You have to do this from a browser. So click on the gears icon up in the upper right and choose settings. Now click on labels. So the text in black is what is currently selected. So right now you are showing starred and snoozed folders, but you are, in hi are hiding important and chats folders. So I actually only s show sent, drafts, spam, and trash. So you can see I've really cleaned up my the folders on my browser. So I got rid of a bunch, but I still have these annoying important and starred subfolders on my iPhone. How do I get rid of those? Well, first I'm gonna go into settings then inbox, and under important markers, check no markers. So this is going to prevent Gmail from automatically marking your emails important or not. Then go back into labels and make sure that you have those folders hidden in settings. So look over here to the right of the screen. Do you have a column with a checkbox and show in IMAP? If not, you're gonna to wanna to go into the tab forwarding and pop slash IMAP, scroll down, and under IMAP access, check enable IMAP. Okay, once you've done that, go back into labels and only check show an IMAP for only those folders that you want to appear on your phone. Now I check my phone and voila, I got rid of those pesky folders that were taking up prime real estate. Okay, so the last tip I have for organizing with folders is to use emojis. So I use a couple of my folders much more frequently than any of the others. For example, and I do have a video on this, but when I send an email that is asking for a response, I always blind copy myself on it so that I get an, an, a copy of that email back into my inbox immediately. 
Then I file that email in my outstanding folder. So I do this many, many times a day. So I put a little red octagon emoji in the title of this folder using my iPhone so that it stands out from all the other folders. You could do this for any folder that you use a lot and you want to differentiate. And that's it. I showed you how to create folders. I warned you to keep it simple. I showed you how to delete or not display folders. And I shared my tip on using emojis in folder titles. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated. And thanks for watching.